Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Dina Hype coming back to you guys with a brand new video and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be covering some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War information and leaked news that was recently announced here in the past couple of days that you guys probably already have heard of but I'm still going to cover it anyways. If you guys have not heard the information with Black Ops Cold War being announced this past Tuesday, there is also going to be a multi multiplayer beta coming along with it. We're going to be covering that information here in today's video as well as we have some news about Black Ops Cold War using a different engine that was used from Modern Warfare and Warzone. So we're going to go ahead and get straight on into everything. If you guys want to read all the information for yourself, the links to all the information are going to be down at the very bottom of the description. So if you want to read it all for yourself, feel free. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight on into things. So if you guys go on to enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. And also if you guys are brand new to the channel and want to stay up to date with any future videos that I do post, make sure you guys subscribe. And without further ado, let's get straight into things. Now, like I said, the links to everything is down in the description. So if you guys want to read along, you guys can do that. Or if you want to just listen to me as I read it, you guys can do that as well. So to start off here, the first one is Black Ops Cold War is using a different engine from Modern Warfare and Warzone. Now, Treyarch has confirmed that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will be running on a different engine than the previous game in the franchise, which was Modern Warfare. Now, when Black Ops Cold War was first leaked, many fans thought that the game would be running on the same engine as Modern Warfare and Warzone. Now, these rumors were given some credibility when it was revealed from the Battle Royale mode, which would be a part of the game at launch. Now, however, this isn't strictly the case as developer Raven Software has confirmed that the game will be running on an entirely different engine and tool set from Infinity Ward's game. So you guys can see right there if you're saying, no, nah, it's just leaked news, it's, it's not real. No, Raven Software is publicly saying that this is going to be different from what Infinity Ward was doing with their game. Now, moving on here, in fact, Black Ops Cold War will be running on an engine that was originally built back in 2015. That being said, the studios did confirm that the engine has been revamped and retooled since then. So if you're thinking, oh, 2015, this is going to be such an old, old-fashioned style engine. It's going to be weird. It's going to be different. Nobody's going to like it. No, it's kind of like if you were to take an older Call of Duty that you really liked, but you were going to spice it up and try to make it just something better. That's kind of what they're doing with the engine. They just took something that an old-fashioned and they just made it better. So hopefully it's good. I'm praying it's good. And we'll have to just wait and see. Now despite all this. However Raven explained that the game will still look extremely photorealistic. And that it will quote push Call of Duty visual boundaries. Quote. According to the developers. One of the most important aspects was capturing the feel of the 1980s. While also supporting modern technology or technological advancements like 4k real-time lighting and more now this is as expected will quote push the limits quote of what their current engine can do now it's easy to see how successful the studios were at replicating photorealism and the scenery itself looks stunning in the facial animations feature in the campaign reveal trailer show an impressive impressive amount of detail now from the hairs on wood's chin to the wrinkles on Ronald Reagan's face, you can tell this is just the most impressive work that they have put into a Call of Duty of all time. Now, that all being said, it'll be interesting to see how the game looks on current gen consoles, which the real trailer was captured on PlayStation 5. So at this point, we really don't know how impressive or unimpressive the game is going to look on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. So, that is everything for the actual engine. Moving on here, we have Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer, which is going to be having a reveal date and the open beta reveal date and how it's all going to work and when it's all going to be released. Now, following the reveal event that took place in Warzone, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a first official gameplay trailer, has been revealed alongside release dates for its multiplayer reveal and the details about the open beta. Now, the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War anticipation is stronger than it's ever been as the game nears its multiplayer reveal, open beta, and an eventual worldwide release on November 13th. Now, on August 26th, Activision finally unveiled the first worldwide reveal trailer 
for Black Ops Cold War via an in-game event in Warzone and now players can't wait until they get a more hands-on experience. As part of the reveal, publishers were also announced that a lot of details or they also announced a lot of details about the game, including some information that were concerning about the multiplayer reveal and the open beta, all of which can be found in the trailer that was kind of revealed within Warzone. Which, if you guys want to watch that video, it's on Call of Duty's YouTube channel. You guys can go watch it there. Now, the first question you're probably asking is, when exactly is the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal? When can we find this information that's not going to be deleted, it's going to be official? It says here, according to Activision, there will be a full reveal for the multiplayer side of Black Ops Cold War on Friday, September 9th. And it'll come via a presentation on Call of Duty's Twitch channel. Now, while it'll undoubtedly be a painful way for the fans until that day arrives, Treyarch did put in a slight teaser for the multiplayer at the very end of the first trailer, and it includes shots of a desert-style map with helicopters and rovers all over the place. And it did go on to say that the end of Black, or did say within the tweet from Call of Duty, Dex Hurdle, Charlie Intel, everybody, the end of hashtag Black Ops Cold War trailer includes a sneak peek of multiplayer. Now moving on here, as has been the case for the most recent COD games, Black Ops Cold War will have an open beta for players to try it out before the full release on November 13th. Unfortunately for those on PC, Xbox One, and the PlayStation community will be the first to get their feet wet with this new game. PlayStation has, in the past couple years, been a PlayStation exclusive type of system where Call of Duty just goes there first. And we get the exclusive access to Call of Duty. And it's pretty nice, if you ask me, being a PlayStation owner. Anybody who owns an Xbox or a PC, you have to then wait, I believe it's 30 days, until you can actually play the game and play any updates that do come into the game in the future. Which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Now, it says here, as the Treyarch titles open update will release on PS4 up to 5 days in advance, before any other platform as part of Sony's deal with Activision. It's going to be kind of one of those things where PlayStation is going to get those five days or maybe even two or three days before Xbox and PC to kind of try the game out. And then after that, Xbox and PC will be able to kind of dive in and get their hands on the game and just see how it works. Now, at the moment, the actual release dates for the open beta have yet to be announced, but you can get early, early access to it by pre-ordering any of the three digital versions of the game. Those who pre-order physical copies will not get early access. So if you guys go, say, and wait to order it from GameStop or Walmart or whatever, you're not going to get it. Me, myself, I've already ordered it. You guys would have seen if you follow me on Twitter. I pre-ordered the game as a second it became available. And I've already got my countdown ready to be making sure the game is downloaded the second it can go live. So... Moving on here, of course, if you chose not to pre-order the game, you'll still be able to try out the open beta, but only after the exclusive periods are over, which first are going to be on PS4, then on Xbox One and PC. It's not yet known how long these will be, but such periods can be up to a whole week, and this gives an eager fan base a general timeline to look forward to, and the campaign's trailer and features have already been released. Now, the multiplayer trailer will premiere on November or September 9th, and the game will finally be released on November 13th, giving around a month's range for an open beta to be squeezed into. Now, that is everything for the actual article. Now, do not quote me on this, but the actual information that you guys are probably here for is when is this open beta. From what I have seen, I cannot quote exactly when it's going to be, but from what I know, I believe it's going to be somewhere within the end or be within the end of September to the beginning of October. I remember the dates of September 26th for some reason as possibly being the date. Do not quote me on that, but that could be the date. It's going to be anywhere within the end of September and the beginning of October if that gives you guys an upper hand on knowing when this is all going down. So other than that, that's all the information that I do have for you guys. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy if you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys do drop a like, and also if you guys are brand new to the channel and want to stay up to date with any future Call of Duty content, whether it be gameplay, updates, news, information, whenever it comes to the future Call of Duty, or just gameplay within what's going on within the Call of Duty we are currently in, 
make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can stay notified the second I post. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on any of my social medias, links to that are down in the description as well as my TikTok. So make sure you guys go follow me. And also, if you guys want to rep the Hype Nation brand, link to that is down there as well. But without further ado, guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.